I've been at the surgery approximately nine years now. I really enjoy patient contact. I'm interested in people um, and therefore every person coming through the door is new and the time flies by. I like patients to tell me their story. I'm interested in what they've got to say. Um, and I think therefore that means I tend to give people the time that they need to tell me the full story. You can have a kind of like personal relationship like the old fashioned general practice. Um, you can be a kind of proper family doctor and you know the patient, you know the families, your approach to the patients um, is individualised. We have a fantastic team. The secretaries are incredible. You ask them to get something done and it's done. It completely trusts them. Um, the receptions are the same. They know the patients. They care about the patients. They will go that extra mile to fit patients in, get prescriptions done. Um, and the nurses are you know, the lifeblood of the practice. I, I genuinely feel it's a privilege to sit in this chair and for people to come in and open up to me and tell me what's going on, what they're worried about, um, what their concerns are. We're a large practice of 11,500 patients. Uh, we cover mainly the area around Fairfield Park, but we have patients all over Bath. And we are also the medical officer for Bath Spa University. We're always trying to improve the service we provide and we want to provide a service that is easily accessible, caring and one of the areas we have particularly concentrated on recently is improving access. And to that end, we now provide a walk and awake clinic that uh, starts at 8 in the morning and goes on to 10.30. Uh, no appointment is required. So we've set up a patient participation group. It is just nice to be able to sit and listen to the patients and let them have an opportunity to tell us what they think about our services and how they think we could actually improve and make things easier for them. Our priority is to provide the best service and the best care that we possibly can for our patients. Well I've worked in this surgery now for 27 years and I've seen a huge amount of change and technology comes and it keeps coming and my children tell me that's good but for me the most important thing is the face-to-face -face contact with the patients. I think there's nothing better than them coming through the door and you've been able to address them by their name, greet them with a smile and try and put them at ease because often they're anxious when they come in. The biggest privilege of working in this place is being able to help people to realise that they do matter. We have a meeting every Friday with all the doctors, the nurses in the practice if they want to attend, Sarah Webb who's our community matron and any of her team who have patients that are up for discussion. And the idea of that meeting is to discuss patients who have complex needs. The aim is to improve care in the community. Um, a secondary aim is to try and keep people out of hospital as much as we can and only use hospital when it's necessary. Um, and, and then it's also a support for the families that are looking after these patients.